G'day chaps, welcome back, part 9 of my The Long Dark Temple Wolf Marathon series. We are right at the top in the aircraft, on the summit. We have just survived a very, very tough night, barely. We've got 87% condition right now, 3 hours of darkness left. 2 hours on the campfire, no sign of a bear so far. So I'm going to, we need to get a little bit more rest, I'm going to cook up a herbal tea, get my head down for maybe another hour. So this tea improves rest by the way, so as long as we drink it hot. Where are you? Yeah. I think that should help us immensely in terms of there we go, improved rest. Which means that we'll get more rest if we do it now. Just thinking ahead to anything we don't need, I'm starting to drop little bits here and there now. I, I did drop, drop a bunch of stuff because I was planning on climbing down. It's still by the rope on the way out. Anyway, let's see if we can't sleep for two hours and how much energy we have at the end. Is that tea should help us. Please don't be a bear, please don't be a bear. Okay, okay, we're looking good. The fire's still going. Less than one hour of darkness. Let's, um, let's take another tea. And sleep another hour. I'm hoping that the fire keeps bears away. I don't know if that's just going to be theory or actually part of the uh, game mechanics, but it's definitely worth doing while we have it. Keep our energy up. Okay, one more hour. Let's see what condition we have after this. So the fire should still be burning, which means that there would be no bear. Okay, good. Pick that up. Fire, still got 46 minutes. It's a beautiful morning. We're at 100% condition. Oh, good morning, boys. Okay, I'm I'm proud of myself. We might not do anything with them, but I'm just going to burn this fire out. Let's hope the conditions are better. Oof. Oh, it's nice and warm. 22 degrees right here. Let's. Oh, that's next to the fire. Okay, let's have a look around. Wow. Minus five, okay. Not the end of the world. Let's get off this mountain. Off this summit. I survived. We survived. We did it. Oh, I really didn't know then. I genuinely thought it was touch and go. I'm going to put this away now. I mean... I've looked for bears all the way around, nothing disturbed me in my sleep. I think we can assume that it's safe. So I'm going to click these, just a couple of sticks. There's some wood waiting for us on the way back over. I dumped it, because I just had to survive. I'm thinking of making a, a coffee or two. I'll also improve the uh, temperature. Oh god, it's cold. Minus 10. It's because it's early in the morning as well. I could slash should wait, but I just want to get off the summit to be honest. And if it means we have to dash it back up again to collect any remaining stuff. We shouldn't be this slow by the way. And it's not because I'm crouching. It must be the wind in our face. So I just want to get off this um, summit in case the weather does change again. And then that means if we come back up we can hopefully just do do it very light with a couple of with some sticks. Climb up, get the stuff we need, make coffees, climb back down again. We're still gonna end up being very much ahead with coffees. We've got 30 right now. Call me paranoid. <laughs> Call me paranoid. Ah, so boys, 
Let's hope we actually get off this time. I don't know about you, but I've been really enjoying this. Really enjoying this series. It's um, more than I could have hoped for in terms of excitement and achievement. I've had a great time. So I hope you've enjoyed it too. Let's see if we can't get back down. Let's take enough of the good stuff to make it worth us having been up here. This, this is the wind again. Brutal. It's minus 16. Oh god, let's just get down to some shelter. At 45 kilos, we're going to have to drop things. Let's just go get warm and safe and wait for the weather to um, be on our side. We need to find a cave. I'm going to take my uh, lantern. I'm not going to consider dropping a lantern at this stage. Right. We need to be pretty quick. So we don't need any of that wood. We're going straight down. Sticks to 41 kilos. Okay. No, we're going to need all that food. Yes, we can drop all this. And we're under, we're under 40 kilos. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Very cold. I'm going to take two sticks. Yes, we're under. That means we can um, hopefully make coffee if we need to on the way down. Okay, let's go. We have to go. I'm going to... Ooh, do I stop on the left to make a coffee? Is that wise? Yes. Let's do it. There's tons of wood here. Minus nine. Come on. Let's get this party started. Shit, I can't place it. Why can't I why can't I place it? Oh come on. This is uh, kinda necessary right now. What? You're shitting me. Come on. Oh, that's just... that's no cool. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if that's because of the weather. Oh, crap. We just need to keep going. Right. Drop it and go. Yes, okay. Our energy's back up. We should be able to just make it down. I don't know if it's less energy to go down than up, but... I'm not going to assume anything. I, that thought did cross my mind, of course, but... Okay, yes. Yes. I didn't want to take the chance, because it's the first time we've ever climbed down a rope this big, but look at our sprint bar. We've got tons of energy, so at least we know we only need to stop on our way up. Now, let's just get into cover. That's the only thing we need to do. We left our rope up there, didn't we? So going down to the right there is not an option. This one is brutal. Minus 12. Isn't it? The clothes are still okay condition though. I can't go any faster than this. Um, I'll drop a bunch of stuff. What else? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I drop my bow? Not really. Don't want to drop any of that. Okay, let's see if we can. I can't run into the wind, unfortunately. It's not really speeding us up, but I'm going to leave that there. This is no quicker, actually. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going to be human mules on the way back down, so. I guess we just, um, we're going to take the condition here, um, not the end of the world. I'm thinking we're basically safe now, because once we get back to the cave, we can rest as long as we need to pick the weather we want before we climb up again and get the rest of our stuff. Um, 
and we know we can leave everything in the cave basically as long as we have enough food and water and I could um, take some wood to uh, make coffees I think we're going to be okay so that means that maybe I wonder if one of the ledges doesn't let you make fires on it for some reason or if that was just the wind I'm curious now see a rabbit up ahead is that our cave? I don't think it is nope I'm not going to pretend that um, I wasn't not sure. Oh, hang on, there is something down there. Have we not been here before? Oh, I don't think we have. Oh shit, there's a rope. And wood. What's the temperature like inside? So we've got wind protection. It's minus four. Let's build a fire. I think we're going to be able to heat ourselves up very quickly and easily. Let's just not mess about. Get it done. So even though I could put um, my bear rug down, I don't want to. As I said, I don't want to sleep outside. And I know the other cave's not too far, so it's really just about heating up as quickly as we can. I'll be giving myself an energy boost so that, yeah, coffee's going to be a good idea. Let's burn everything. Okay, so, yes, we're warming up. Oh my god. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is for real. Okay, so we're using up the last of our almost supplies. Apart from the MREs, we're going to get onto the MREs next. Which, fair, to be fair, it's probably a good idea because you always want to use stuff that's in um, as bad a condition as that. So... Uh, do we want torches? Let's have a look. We've got three. Do we need torches? Not really. That'd be enough to get us Okay, so we don't need to worry about anything. Let's just make ourselves a coffee. Heat up. Get ourselves some energy back. And some heat, most importantly heat. Let's have a look. Hot coffee, drink that. See how that helps. Boom. Made a huge difference. 10 hours of daylight left, we've got loads of wood on the fire, so we'll just do another one, let's do another one, let's get comfortable before we do anything else, <laughs> this is survival after all, this is no, there's no rush here, it's all about being as safe as we can. That didn't really warm us up very much. How much do we have? We have an hour. I'm going to put my um, put the rug down. Get an hour of sleep. This will warm us up completely. Gives us a bit more energy too. So I may be able to drop the stuff at the uh, mouth of the cave and then head back up now. A single run. Oh, we've still got an hour. That's pretty good. Let's finish off this coffee. It's cold. Yeah, we're, we're, we've got some energy. We're good. We're okay. Okay. 38 kilos. We're warm. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay. I'll take the rope. I'm going to attach this back on the um, on that spot behind us because we're fine now. It's minus three, but we're fully warm. It's, it's emergency over. We're at 91% condition. I'm not worried anymore just because the weather's okay. And it looks like a beautiful day and actually a really good time to do anything. 
so if we are lucky. I'm still gonna I'm gonna head I'm gonna put this rope on first. I'm gonna drop our stuff hmm, do I drop it here? Or do I drop it at the cave? I I'm gonna drop it at the cave because we're gonna need to go back to the cave anyway. Because we wanna get back up to hundred percent condition. Um I don't know how far of a climb this is down. Oh. Ooh, that, ooh, that's a biggie. That's not a normal climb down. So I don't know if we do that. Is that a dead animal? Is that one of my kills? Oh, I know where that is. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So that could save us a lot of time getting back down. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm still not going to... Um, there we go. I'm not going to attempt it at this stage. I'm going to get up to 100% condition first before we do anything. I'm going to get fully rested and all that good stuff, so... Um, we'll take four sticks, and this is a discipline uh, for myself, just to remember, really. So I want to use, I want to take four sticks from the top. Actually, four sticks going up, don't I? Because I want to stop and make coffee halfway up, so I'm going to leave those there. I want to make at least one coffee, preferably two on the way up so and I'm gonna get just as light as I can be so that there's no problem at the top um, just as light as I can be considering that I can get stuck on the ledge or at the top at any time so I'm gonna drop anything that is not essential to absolutely immediate survival so like flares and whatnot I can hear something Here's something. Oh, it's my fire. It's my own fire. Jesus. Huh. At least there's nothing wrong with my ears. <laughs> oh, I feel better now. We actually survived the night. I was genuinely concerned. Oof. That shows why people don't spend much time right at the top of mountains. That was kind of scary. So this has given me, anyway, some kind of vague idea of, uh, along with other movies I've watched as well, of what true mountaineers have gone through. There's a really, really good movie on Netflix, and I forget its name right now, but it's about two um, mountaineers, and this is in the time of Hitler, and Hitler had put this big emphasis on, on finding the next... Ah, there's our cave. So that must be our way down. That must be a normal climb down. Yeah. So this must be two shortcuts down. Well, this is one of them. Yeah, but you'd only want to attempt this... Certainly attempt it twice if you had tons of energy and stuff. Now that's a really short climb down. I'm not worried about that one. Not quite sure. Don't really recognise where that is. So, either way, eight hours of daylight. We're going to go rest up all night. We're going to get really comfortable. Have we got enough water? Here? Nope. Okay, so we need some wood. Ah, oh, we made it, boys. Ay, ay, ay. Just need to make a bit of water. We're nearly up to 20 minutes already. This is, um, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting us to be down the bottom by the uh, end of 10 episodes. Definitely not how things have turned out. I want to ignore those branches. 
branches take a little time to break down, don't want to do it. Um, I can't remember if I left... Did I leave anything in there? Maybe I did. Let's, um, let's have a quick look, I really can't remember. It was just all too exciting. Ah. So I reckon um, I'm going to drop the weight here. Let's get ourselves nice and light. Ready for the climb back up. I'm going to spend the night here too. And I reckon I'll start the next episode with the re-ascent. The greedy ascent. Back up to the summit to collect the stuff I left. I couldn't, I couldn't bear to leave behind. Let's put it that way. That's the truth of it. Did I leave anything here? No, I didn't at all. Nothing at all. Okay. It's, um, I'm going to pick the same spot. I liked where we slept last time. Let's put that down. So. We're full. We've got food. We've only got MREs left. Which means we're going to have to let this get pretty low before we bother using one. Um... The only thing we need is water, really. So, let's get her done. I've only got two sticks, what's that about? That's not enough. Um, okay. I'll just, I'll make what I can make. And then if we get thirsty, we can just, I'll go out tomorrow. I just want to end the episode soon. Show you want to I'm going to show you what I drop before I stop. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean for that to sound cheesy. Um, yeah, and I'll start the next episode uh, as light as, as I've left us tomorrow morning, basically, where we do the reascent to collect all the stuff we will leave in this tunnel here. Add that. We do we need water with that? No, we can't. Not even. I do. Anything like that, there's no point. Okay. Just gonna have to make do with what we've got. Ah, fuck it. Right, I'm just gonna drop stuff here, boys. I'll show you what I'm dropping. I'm not gonna take up the mountain with me. I'm gonna drop all my flares, all my matches. Distress gun, flare gun. Shells. Let's remember there are four all but three of these guys. I don't want to go as low as two. One flare I guess I'll keep. Can't really let go of my rifle. Mm, I can leave all the bullets though. Don't need any cleaning kit. I'm even going to repair our clothes before I set off up there. We've got three cloth. I'm going to go as light as it's possible to go. Drop all these matches. Use the fire striker for this one. I'll take one, two torches, because that means that the two. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Do we need a knife? We don't actually. What are we gonna? Could we possibly cut with our knife? I'm going to repair stuff and even going to leave my antibiotics and most of my pain pills. Oh, you can hear the weather coming up in the background. I don't know if you can make it out to me. I'm going to drop all but eight of these guys. So I'm leaving pretty much everything. This is just for the run to the summit here. And we know we've got shelter, so. I can be really minimal. And drop all but all but. So I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna take a lot of these guys because that's just so important. And drop all these MREs. That's gonna be enough for three days if I absolutely need it. Um. I'm not going to need the arrowheads, but if I drop them, I'll never pick them up. I'm going to keep one flare just in case. Don't need the bow and arrows. The rifle only. We're down to 22 kilos. This is very good. 
Storm Lantern, right. Now I'm just going to do our repairs and sleep out the night and that's it, we're off. We're on emergency, just the absolute bare essentials here. One of everything. Apart from the torches and the accelerants. Cool. Right boys, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now.